Road rage in Spotsylvania County. The sheriff's office has released the names of two brothers found shot to death in their car this weekend. Our camera Thompson explains what led up to the shooting and has the latest on the investigation. The Spotsylvania Sheriff's Office says it was just past these mailboxes on Fox Run Drive where brothers Fred and Joe Swick were shot and killed in their car the night of July 4th. 48-year-old Danny Lee Huffman has been charged in the case and is the one who called 911 after it happened. There was indication that there was some sort of road rage incident um, that had occurred. Captain Liz Scott wouldn't say who was the instigator but adds it appears to have started miles away from the crime scene. Both uh, vehicles live somewhat in the area. So it wouldn't have been unusual for both of them to turn on Fox Run. Scott says it doesn't appear they knew each other and that Huffman's teenage son was with him at the time of the shootings but was not involved. Huffman is claiming self-defense. Mr. Huffman stated that he had been uh, cut in the arm uh, during the altercation. But she adds no cutting device was found by investigators. The gun that was used was later found in uh, a body of water that was on Mr. Huffman's property. I can't believe that somebody would pull out a gun and shoot somebody. Less than a mile away, family gathered at one of the brothers' homes, including their mother, Peggy Yant, who says she found out on Facebook. I felt like I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I felt like I was dying. I felt like my life was so deadly. The family says the brothers were getting their lives on track and starting to flip houses together. They say they both leave behind children, and their mother has this to say to Huffman. I'll make sure you spend the rest of your life in jail. That's my promise. And the sheriff's office adds that additional charges could be filed against Huffman, including second degree murder. They say he is currently being held without bond. Working for you in Spotsylvania County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.